Hello, seventh grade science students. Mr. Core here. Um, I'm inviting you know all teams, Ms. Mrs. Kramer's students and Mr. Behringer students, to watch this video um, as a review and to talk about convection in the mantle, which seems to be one of the harder types of content during this this unit. And just as a quick review, I want to focus on um, a, a review of you know convection, conduction, and radiation. And because there seems to be some confusion related to those things. If you look here at this picture where you see a fire and most of the situations where you see heat transfer taking place can be all three. But there are specific things that allow you to distinguish the difference between them. Um, first of all, conduction, which to me is the easiest one. Conduction means molecules are touching. So whatever is conducting, that me must mean that it's touching that object to transfer the heat. So here you have the hot poker that was in the fire and is now hot because of conduction. And the person's hand is touching the poker so you would feel heat there. So that's conduction. Radiation, and it shows the waves here, is infrared radiation. You would feel the heat coming off the fire on your hands due to this infrared radiation. You don't see it but you can feel it. This is the same thing that you feel the sun beating down on your face. That is also infrared radiation. And convection has to do with the movement of air or some type of fluid that is rising upward, okay? And in this case, it's the heat coming off of the fire that's heating the air above it, causing it to raise. Well, someone might say, well, isn't that just infrared or radiation? Have you ever noticed how a fire is much hotter above? That's because the air is being heated and raising up. Even though you still have heat here, this is more infrared radiation. This is more convection. So I just wanted to go over those three things because we're going to be focusing on the movement of a fluid as that heat transfer, which is convection. So to start, I always show the apple. If you look at the apple, it's a nice model for the interior layers of the earth. All right. And you have the thin crust on the outside, which represents the crust of the earth. You have the core. Well, you know, I, I treat the seeds as the inner core and this area right here as the outer core. Okay. And then you have this fleshy material that we like to eat. All right. Which is makes up most of the apple that we call the mantle. And that's similar to the earth because the mantle makes up most of the mass of the earth. And if you look here, you can see that when we compare the three of them, they are very different. The crust is very mm -hmm. thin, but it's very hard, rocky, uh, outside layer of the earth. All right. The mantle and core, however, are very different. Okay. The mantle is made of a different type of rock. Uh, the core is made mainly of metal in a liquid form and in a solid form, but um, they are also pretty different. Now, we can't study them by direct means because they are too deep. Uh, we have not even come close to getting through the crust. Therefore, we have no way of actually studying the, the mantle or the core by direct means. We have to use what we call earthquake waves. Um, and if you take a look just real quick here, waves um, move differently through the earth. And when there's an earthquake, it hits all parts of the earth because it travels through the earth. And de depending on how those waves travel, it can show us what the inside of the earth is made of. So if you're asking that question, well, how do we know what the layers of the earth are? That's the reason. Okay. And you know, waves can travel at different speeds through different materials of the Earth. And this is sort of how they figure out how these different layers uh, are, okay? So another thing about that interior of the Earth is the fact that, okay, when you travel deeper into the Earth, the pressure, temperature, and density all increase. As, as you get deeper and deeper, and this is true, like in the deep-level coal mines of Africa, or gold mines more so, um, you can, as you get deeper, it actually gets hotter and hotter and hotter. Uh, if you watch that hot potato video, you can, uh, that this was told to you during that video as well. Um, so you can see that as we increase with our depth, our temperature and our pressure and density 
all increase. In fact, if we took you and put you in the core center of the earth, it would squash you to the size of a marble. This is not a joke. So let's hope that never happens to you.